Pew Research poll shows Hispanic voters rank the rank the economy and health care as their two leading issues. Joining us to discuss that and other findings is our election immigration attorney and KUSI contributor Esther Valdez Clayton. Hey, good morning, Esther. How are you doing today? Good morning, really well, Paul. Well, uh, uh, according to that Pew Research, the Latino community will make up the largest ethnic racial group in the uh, in the 2020 election. Do you concur with that? This is something entirely new that we've never seen before. Usually when we talk about politics, we talk about the black vote and the white vote. For the first time, Latinos will approximate 32 million voters in the 2020 election, meaning that they will be the largest minority voting bloc now overtaking the African-American vote. It's no surprise that on Tuesday, the President Trump issued a proclamation stating that September 15th on forward to October 15th was going to be Latino and Hispanic uh, Heritage Month. So to commemorate that, not only has Joe Biden and Kamala Harris been visiting the battleground state of Florida, but also the president has been making various visits to border and battleground states such as Arizona, Nevada, uh, and Florida that have very well known and very large Hispanic voting bloc, not only to court that vote, but also to make his presence known and to be able to take away approximately what some folks say is a sizable amount of the Latino voting bloc, anywhere from 30% to 40% of the Latino voters may vote for Trump, according to NBC Marist polls and various other polls as well. Well, if that happens, then this election's over because I think uh, Republican president can, presidential candidates have done at the best in the high, mid to high 20s. So that would be a significant upgrade. But for the longest time, I always thought the Hispanic vote automatically went Democrat. And then I see that they're also the, the Hispanic community is, has the biggest contingent of rising small business owners. And that, that number keeps getting bigger. And then that, that would, you would think, would be a more conservative vote. So which issue d- attracts Hispanic voters most? There's a lot of diversity in terms of the Hispanic voters. They're not a monolithic group. And a lot of what the issues that the Trump administration are focusing on are jobs, the economy, health care, and school choice. And the recent polls show us that immigration is not very high on the list. A lot of people understand that Latino voters are first and second generation voters. And you'd be surprised to note that the U.S. Border Patrol is comprised of over half Hispanic employees. So it's not just immigration at play, like a lot of Democrats, pollsters have largely believed, but there's also issues such as gay marriage, such as abortion, that for a lot of Latino voters, they tend to be not only more socially conservative, but also more religious as well. So those cultural issues have a large play as well as the entrepreneurial aspects as well. Under the Trump administration, not only did we see the lowest poverty rates for the Hispanics in America, but also the lowest unemployment rates, the highest home ownership rates that we've seen since 2005, and a swathe of new and entrepreneurial opportunities for the Hispanic voters. And with the, the Trump administration has labored opportunity zones, enabling new loans for small businesses which Hispanics tend to be more entrepreneurial and more aspirational as well. Esther, we have to call it a conversation. Thanks for uh, making time for KUSI so early in the morning. You're welcome.